the biomass satellite is finally taking shape. <laughs> this is our last chance to visit it in its dust-free clean room before it leaves the UK for pre-launch tests. As science missions go, it's a big one, and it has to be. It's folded up like an umbrella along its side is a 12-metre radar antenna. It really will be quite, um, quite a sight, I think, to behold. You can't really simulate what it's going to be like in space fully on the ground, so it's all essentially modelling at this stage. Yeah. Um, so it'll be quite exciting to see that happen. The collapsible antenna is crucial to its mission, to see from the cold emptiness of space the humid, woody depths of Earth's forests in a completely new way. At the heart of the biomass satellite is something called a P-band radar, and it's the first time that technology has flown into space. And it gives scientists the power to look through the forest canopy at what's below, essentially allowing them for the first time to see the wood for the trees. If you look to the, at a forest with this wavelength, the, it, the leaves would, and little branches would be totally invisible. The tree would look like a, a tree that's just had all the leaves stripped off and most of the small twigs left off, and it would just look like a, the framework of a tree. And that's where the biomass is. Forests are fundamental to global warming because through photosynthesis, they turn about a third of the carbon we pump into the atmosphere into biomass. Yet how much carbon they actually contain is largely guesswork, particularly in dense tropical forests. Yeah, I've measured tens of thousands of trees across the tropics, in the Amazon, in the Congo Basin, but there's only so many trees you can measure by hand. Right. But what this satellite can do is tell us what's happening over enormous areas. If you look at a tree trunk like this, about 50% of the dry weight will be carbon. And knowing how much carbon there is in forests is crucial as we continue to cut or burn them down. We know that we're in this climate emergency and we've got to get emissions right down really rapidly. And one of the key uncertainties is how much carbon is going into the atmosphere from deforestation and from exactly where. As well as measuring the stores of carbon we're losing, the biomass satellite can also reveal the most carbon-rich forests we have to protect and help hold to account those who've promised to protect them. Tom Clark, Sky News.